Come switch. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hey, first of all, guys, I want to tell you, I am ecstatic to be back with you now, full time. I'm ecstatic. Yeah. Woo! Like I'm going to reborn. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good about life. Now, here's what I want to talk to you guys about. I want to talk to you about competition. Okay, being competitive. Now, before I even start that, though. I want to kind of piggyback on some of the things I've been watching the other coaches talk about. I know Coach Current had mentioned uh, his free speech about how there's a lot of good coaches on this staff. They have a lot of knowledge. Okay? And I'm watching these. I'm really enjoying watching what you guys are being told. Okay? I've got something to add to that. Okay? What I want to add to that, and this has nothing to do with being competitive, it's picking up stuff from each coach. Okay? And I want to give, Coach Ramsey told us, uh, he wanted us to talk on something that really touched us, okay? And this really touches me. I, I'm talking about my dad. And this, it'll make sense here in a minute. My dad was very competitive, but wasn't real boisterous. My dad never was in any athletics, ever, okay? He wasn't in athletics. He would tell me things that and he passed away about eight, nine years ago, but he told me things that still I remember today. And that thing that I remember him saying the most, this stands out more than anything. And I didn't fully understand what he was saying when I was your age, but I understand now. And that's why I wanted to relay this message to you guys. He told me every single day in everything I did, if you're gonna do it, do it to the best of your ability. Do it the best <coughs> you can, okay? Do it the best you can. If you're going to do it, it doesn't matter what he's, you know, what you're doing. Do it the best you can. Now, again, my father wasn't very boisterous. He wasn't. He wasn't in sports, but he competed for the ultimate thing: his life. Okay. I want to show you something, and this is this really hits me here. My mom gave this to my son. I don't know what that is. He was your age when he had a bayonet st stuck in his stomach and shot. Okay, he was your age in the Korean War. This, and this really hits me hard. Does anybody know what this is? Silver star. That's a silver star. This is the third highest award you can get in the military. The third highest award. There's the Congressional Medal of Honor. There is the, uh, the Army has its own cross, then there's the Silver Star, okay? My dad got this. And again, the reason I'm telling you these things is my dad, he knew this. He, he, he did the ultimate comp competition. He competed for his life. He was, I, I won't even get the story, because we'll be in here for about 30 minutes, but the story's incredible on what happened to him after that. Okay, well, the reason I'm telling you all this, when you hear things, understand what's being said to you from these coaches, okay? Like me, I learned from my mistake. My dad said it to me over and over again. Whatever you do, do it the best you can. If you're gonna do it, do it the best you can. Why do something halfway? Doesn't that make sense? Yes, sir. Why, why do it halfway? And he said that over and over to me. And that really, and when he passed away, my mom gave this to my son. I, I was like floored. I just started thinking about it. Because I, to be honest with you, I didn't know any of this. When my dad passed away, I didn't know any of this. He didn't, not once, mention this to me. So after he passed away, my mom told me. So anyway, that's what I'm building up. Get something from each coach. All right, I'm gonna jump right in with being competitive. Mm -hmm. right? um, hold on, hold this thought. I picked this picture, you guys, and I saw Coach, uh, who was it, Coach, uh, had the, the flock of geese. McKinney. 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 That was Coach McKinney, right. He had the flock of geese, real interesting. Okay? Working together, etc. I like this one. You guys know what this is? Yes, Rams, you've seen these guys? They literally, they don't hesitate. They butt heads and they go full tilt. They do this for a reason. They are competing to be the alpha. Okay? They're competing. They're, they want to be the alpha. Okay? That's, it's all out. It's all or nothing. Okay, that's their mentality. Okay, go to the first slide. I want to give you three facts. I know it's kind of hard to see. I want to give you three facts on uh, competition or being competitive. Number one, life is competition. Life is competition. Okay? When you take competition out of life, it's ridiculous. When they, when they take 
dodgeball out in elementary PE. That should have been there day one. As a matter of fact, you should have had golf balls. Right? That'll teach you how to survive. Right? That'll teach you how to survive. Right? But there's several things you compete for in life. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, you compete for it. Go ahead. There's gonna be several things. Your parents' attention when you're young. You fight for your parents' attention. You guys, running, you know that or not, you actually fight for it as a small child. Go ahead. We'll go through these. Toys and games. I put this on here because I'm from up north. And you guys, as a little kid, we started doing this at about age three, all the way up till I think I was a junior in college. We still did this. King of the Hill. When they have these big yeah. snow, snow hills, you know. Yeah. You play king of the hill, that's not playing around. It's if you're up there, you're the king, and you're gonna do anything to remain the king. Or if you're not on the top, you'll do anything to get to the top, okay? So that was a serious competition. You compete for your grades, go on. You compete for your girlfriends and wives. Some of you guys better start competing. <laughs> Some of you better start competing. Uh, extracurricular, there's several areas of competition with extracurricular, okay? Yes, you're competing against other schools, that's the ultimate. But you're also competing for positions, you're competing for playing time. Life is competition, okay? Go ahead. And college, okay? College. And it goes on after that. Competition will follow you the rest of your life. So people that are shy away from competition, they're shying away from life because that is life. Go ahead. The next one, I'm going to try to pick it up so you guys can get outside and compete. Competition, excuse me, competition <laughs> breeds success. Competition breeds success. I believe that 100%, okay? And here's what I'm talking about. This is right out of the Bible. Iron sharpens iron, one man sharpens another. Tell me that doesn't say competition breeds success, okay? The way I look at it, your ones, your job is to make the team better. Your job is to make the team better. Twos, backups, your job is to make the ones better or compete for their spot. Does that make sense? Compete for their spot. Because if they know you're competing for it, you've got to get after it, okay? Uh, know your role, okay? I put this up here. You guys know the story about this. Uh, Malcolm, Malcolm uh, Butler got the pick to win the game from New England. You guys watch Super Bowl? Yes, sir. I'll read this real quick. Undrafted rookie out of Division II West Alabama who wasn't invited to last year's combine, didn't have any offers to sign as an undrafted free agent maybe following the draft. He still competed, and look where it got him, okay? I got to pick it up. Next one. Okay, your number one competition is yourself. Your number one competition is yourself. Okay, look in the mirror, that's your competition. You should compete against yourself to make yourself better every day. Okay, uh, look, a real quick story. My son, he loves playing baseball. When he was a little kid, about eight years old, he was trying out for pitcher. Okay, him and another guy, the, the one was catcher, one was a pitcher, and then they just switched. Well, it was his turn to try for pitching. He's pitching, but the catcher was a good friend of his. I'm watching this happen, he kept moving the glove. He kept, he kept doing that. And, and I, after, after the tryouts, I go to Aaron, I said, hey, why was he doing that? And this is what he told me. The kid that was moving the glove was moving it so he wouldn't succeed, so he could be the pitcher. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? So I asked my son, I said, you tell me this is a competition. I asked my son, I said, well, what did you do? You didn't have a target? He goes, Dad, I just threw it right at his nose every single time. His nose wasn't moving. That's competition. Agreed? Yes, sir. He found a way to overcome and compete. All right, real quick, we'll put these up here and then I'll let you guys go. Focus on what you can do to improve. When you compete with yourself, you become better. If you're continuously competing with others, you become bitter, which means if you're trying to outdo someone. Okay, next one. Life is dynamic. Every day you either get better or you're worse, okay, or get worse. The only person you need to be better than is the person you were yesterday. What do you do today to do that? Last one. Okay, being competitive, this is the ultimate right here. If you can't win, make the guy ahead of you break the record. That's competition, okay? And if everyone does your part, what happens to the level of you know, talking about football? It just keeps going up and up. Make sense, you guys? Yes, sir. Sir. We're going to compete today. Get three, one, two, three.